Hi my dear students today we will discuss about interrupts right So in the last class we discussed about some different programs that are related to the directives assembler directives that are related to the different types of instructions now we will go in detail about interrupts right this is comes under chapter 3 right so what is uh, interrupt what is interrupt an interrupt is a condition that halts the microprocessor temporarily to work on a different task and then return to its previous task right interrupt is nothing but it is a condition that halts the microprocessor temporarily for some time after executing that interrupt again it comes to the main program see without interrupt without interrupt the program will execute like this see without interrupt the program will execute like this so these are the instructions without interrupt this will be executed suppose with interrupt with interrupt that means suppose this is main program executing so this is one main program it is executing suppose here the interrupt is occurred then it goes to the some location isr and after executing again it come to here and again it will execute so here what what happened here interrupt occurred isr means interrupt service routine so without interrupt the main program executes step by step but when we are executing the while we are executing the main program while while we are executing the main program if there is any interrupt occurs then it goes to the specified location that is called is interrupt service routine and then it will execute it will execute the particular interrupt again it comes to the main program again it comes to the main program now we will in detail we will discuss about interrupt so so please remember the definition the definition is interrupt is a condition right an interrupt is a condition that halts the microprocessor that halts the microprocessor temporarily remember temporarily to work on to work on a, a different task to work on a different task and then after completion of interrupt and then return to and then return to its previous task and then it return to its previous task you remember interrupt is an event or a signal that request to attention of cpu that request the attention of cpu that halts all of peripheral devices to across the microprocessor to across the microprocessor right so suppose see what is the interrupt so, uh, suppose for let us consider i am one example see while i am telling the class while i am telling the class so if anybody entered into the, my room if anybody enter one to room so definitely he will ask sir may i come in right so that is an interrupt that is an interrupt suppose uh, how, what i will do now what i will do so if he, if he comes i will solve what is the problem what uh, what do you want i like that i will ask and after that again i will come to the class and i will teach the class that means so while this is main program main program is teaching the class while we are teaching the class what happened somebody came somebody came and asked the permission about something right then i i, I replied him and I, i i executed that interrupt and again i will start the my class so that is called interrupt right so there are two different types of interrupts are there right maskable interrupt and non maskable interrupt interrupts are different types so maskable interrupt and non maskable maskable means we can ignore that interrupt we can ignore that interrupt suppose see while i am teaching the class while i am te teaching the class suppose our mobile phone will ring mobile mobile is ringing that means i can i can ignore i can mask that interrupt i can mask that interrupt while because i am this is class is important that's why i, I will mask that interrupt and later i will handle that interrupt 
after after completion of my class i will i will handle that interrupt that uh, call so that is called mass non mass bull interrupt means see while i am teaching the class if any hodr if any hodr principal came na i will not ignore definitely i will go and i will attempt that interrupt and after that i will come to the class so this is about non mass bull interrupt so non mass bull interrupts are having highest priority non mass bull interrupts are having the highest priority please remember mass bull interrupt means we can ignore at the time but later we have to solve that interrupt later we have to solve that interrupt so whenever an interrupt occurs the processor completes the execution of the current instruction see so while we are executing this is first instruction second instruction third instruction here the interrupt will come right so it is executing so at, at, at here if the interrupt is coming means that means so you have to execute this interrupt first you have execute this interrupt third interrupt interrupt that is execute this instruction execution of the contest and start the execution of interrupt that is called you have to go to the isr remember isr means interrupt service routine interrupt service routine r o u t i n e interrupt service routine or interrupt handler we can call it is a interrupt handler what is isr isr is a program that tells the processor what to do when interrupt occurs isr is nothing but what isr is a program isr is a program that tells the processor what to do when the interrupt occurs when the interrupt occurs after the execution of isr after the execution of isr it controls uh, return back to the main routine again it comes to here again it will come to the fourth instruction see so this is about interrupt isr isr is nothing but a simple program this is to complete the interrupt to complete that particular execute that particular interrupt after execution of interrupt it coming to the next instruction it comes to the next instruction right so what are the steps involved what are the steps involved to execute an interrupt what are the steps involved to execute an interrupt so the steps are see the value of the first one in micro in 8086 microprocessor following tasks are performed when microprocessor encounter an interrupt in 8086 in 8086 microprocessor following uh, tasks are perform following tasks are perform when microprocessor encounters an interrupt when microprocessor encounters an interrupt see suppose while you are executing the program some interrupt occurs then what 8086 microprocessor will do first step it executes current instruction remember it executes executes the current instruction next the value of the value of flag register the value of flag register is pushed into the stack is pushed into the stack that means flag register means what so we are in the flag we are having different types of uh, uh, flags are there right interrupt flag is there trap flag is there right so these are the control flags status flags are there see remember control in the out of nine flags six status flags three uh, three control flags are there right so these flags will be these flag values will be put into the stack right it means the first value of sp that means sp means what the first value of sp means what stack pointer stack pointer the stack pointer is decremented by 2 is decremented decremented by 2 then the value of flag register is the value of flag register is pushed to the memory address pushed to the memory address of stack segment of stack segment next what is the next one 
that means stack pointer value is decreed by 2 and then value of flag is pushed into the memory address of the stack segment right now the value of starting memory address remember the value third one the value of starting memory address of CS. CS means what? Code segment. Starting code segment pushed into the stack. Pushed into the stack. That means see, we are pushing the stack pointer, we are pushing the code segment value. Both. Next. Next fourth one is the value of IP is pushed into the stack. The value of IP. IP means what? instruction pointer instruction pointer is pushed into the stack see these are the steps when interrupt occurs into the stack next fifth one ip is loaded so what is the value of ip ip is loaded from word location that means interrupt type is multiplied by 0, 4. Remember this is. What is the value you have to load in IP? That interrupt type, suppose interrupt type is 2, multiply 4 that is 8. Suppose interrupt 3, multiply 4, 12. So like that we have to uh, load the IP value. Next, 6. CS is loaded. CS is loaded from the next word location. CS is loaded from the next word location. So last one is what after handling that interrupt flag, interrupt and which flag? Trap flag. Interrupt and trap flag are reset to 0. Interrupt and trap flag are reset to 0. So these are the steps are involved. What is the first step? First to execute the current instruction. Next. The value of flag register is pushed into the stack. It means first value of stack pointer is decremented by 2. Then the value of flag register is pushed into the memory address of the stack segment. Next. Value of starting memory address. CS starting address pushed into the stack. Next. The value of IP is pushed into the stack. IP is loaded from location. Which type of interrupt is occurred? Particular interrupt type in that multiplied by 4. And CS is loaded from the next word location. Interrupt and trap flag are reset to 0. Interrupt and trap flag are reset to 0. So these are the steps involved when the interrupt occurred, then 8086 microprocessor will do all these things. So it de decrements stack pointer by 2 and push the flag register onto the stack. Next, it disable the interrupt input by clearing the interrupt flag, interrupt in the flag. So it disables the interrupt flag. And it resets the trap flag. Interrupt flag and trap flag are resets the flag register. Next, it decrements stack pointer by 2 and push the current code segment register. Stack pointer value is decrement by 2. Then push the current code segment register into the stack. And then push the current instruction pointer. And then again, two points decrement. Then again, you send the stack pointer value into the stack. Right? So until until I R E T. Remember, interrupt return. IRET interrupt return. In IRT instruction at the end of the interrupt service procedure returns execution of the main program. That means see while we are writing the program, here there is interrupt occur. Then what you have to do? You have to go to the ISR. You have to go to the ISR and execute the program until until IRET comes until IRET interrupt return. Then that means the processor understand that interrupt is executed. Then again you go, come to the main program and execute. Again you come to the main program and execute. So in this way we will execute the interrupts. See again I am telling that when you are going for the main program. This is main program. That means some interrupt is occurs. Some interrupt is occurred. Then what you have to do? You have to push the flag register, push the flags, clear interrupt flag and trap flag. Next, push the code segment value. Next, push the IP value. 
right next fetch the interrupt service routine address how we can write it interrupt type multiplied by 4 fetch the asr request and mail then after that after executing that you write irat that means the program is executed right so then it goes to the we come to the main program and execute we come to the main program and execute so this is the how we can executing the interrupt right now in the next class how to now the question how to get the values of cs and ip register so how we will get the cs value and ip value so this will be come by using interrupt vector table this is called interrupt vector table this will be discussed in the next class interrupt vector table until then thank you